دوس راوينا زين يلا يلا لف يمين يسار زين يلا شوت تريا شوت تريا قوم فلا خلنا نجيب العيد اليوم انا والشله يا yeah. جا الوقت لنا قلبي صار يدق بسرعه بكل اب خويني في الرحله انا وفي هلا والله اهلا If you could collaborate with any artist, any artist, who would that artist? Dead or alive? Not just one. Because I thought about that million times. I'm like, if a dead person will definitely be Bob Marley. Sorry, did you ask me dead or alive? Yeah. I thought that was a name of a person. No. <laughs> the way you said it, that, no, I thought like, that was I'll a name like... of a person. <laughs> and I'm like, interested. Why? That's that's on me. Dead or alive. Okay. Dead or alive, is it? Dead or alive. What do you think? It doesn't matter. My top two would be Bob Marley and Hamid Abdul. You're hosting a party with like three sections. What would be on the menu? The first thing I'm going to put in the menu, even if it's lunch or dinner, I'll put Mendy in it. And for dessert, I'll put crepes, Nutella, and banana. That's it. <laughs> Why? It's um. Uh, Who hurt you at some point? Uh, <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Listen, have you ever tried it? Have you ever tried? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you put? Like, me? let me have the question. Yeah. I'm not gonna sound very bougie, uh, but uh, I will put much more. Oh wow! Definitely. Okay, we're in the I'll same boat, so. I'll actually top that dessert. I'll put tangerine and Nutella. What? It will change your life. Let's go. Are any of your favorite songs on your list? Yeah, I have a lot. If you could organize a rap battle between like two artists, yeah. who would take Drake with Kanye? How would you describe your music in one word? Redemption. What's your name? It's like for me, like something that gets me out of my, you know, downer. If I'm ever down, it gets me on my feet, you know. Now for the real talk, how different is the music scene from, let's say, ten years ago versus today? It's completely different place, completely different industry. Uh, when we first started, there was no such thing as, hey, I want to be an artist in the, in the country. Ten years later. There's a lot of support from a lot of entities. Um, kind of like music coming from the country is accepted, and they see it as something professional. And the quality of music that comes from the country is, is on the international level. I mean, that's when there was a lot of opportunity that came from here because of that. And uh, and and I love to see that the region is actually pushing artists from local artists and whoever stayed consistent i can actually see them right now like when, when i'm going to, when i get invited to places, i'm like well i see you when you first started look at you now you know it's beautiful to see what are other genres out there you like draw inspirations from? to be honest like rock bands i get a lot of inspiration from i right know that face i know you're kind of shocked i get it but um, it's one of those, like, I grew up listening to a lot of rock, rock, rock bands, yeah, kind of disturbed in the head. But, but you know, it's beautiful. Yeah, I yeah, the contrast is crazy. Was music always part of your life? And when did you decide to pursue this profession? To be honest, like, I never really wanted to make professional music. And I never really wanted to do that. Really, I, li I like music. I like to listen to music. And, and it's always been like, oh, okay, this is something that I like to do on the side. Um, but sometimes when you actually be obsessed about things, it can be a career. Like I was obsessed about doing music. 
and you've been in the scene for quite a long time. How would you describe your journey? It was a struggle. Everything were against me to actually be a, an artist, you know, especially in the region. There was no such thing. My parents, they were like, what are you doing? Go try to be a doctor or uh, try to be an engineer. And obviously, like anyone else, I think my parents were against it until I think one of my cousins called my mom. Oh, you son, that you famous. I'm listening to his music. She's like, okay, okay, maybe this guy's actually doing something, you know? And then obviously the shows and they saw me in, in F1 and stuff like that. They were like, oh, cool, this is actually serious, you know? So you've had some iconic moments in your career. One of them was working on a song called Bon Salah and then performing that song in front of you. Yeah. What was that experience like? I made the song way before I ever knew or even thought of performing that song in front of Mosala. Uh, I made that song a year in advance and then I got the opportunity to do a campaign and then the campaign was like, okay, we're looking for a song for this campaign for Mosala. I'm like, I actually have a song called Mosala. They're like, no way. I'm like, yes. I, I recorded like seven, eight months and they played, they, they played the track. They're like, wow, this actually makes perfect sense. And I feel like it's like one of those um, manifestations. I manifested it a year in advance and then when I saw it, I'm like, oh my God. And I asked them, like, do you like the song? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> it's, like, it's actually a crazy moment. Yeah, man. Shout out to Musala. That's beautiful story. From the music video, Wala uh -huh. to the music video, Kafi. Yeah. It was two different approaches. Okay. Yeah. But how did you come up with these concepts? It's all like... Life experience, I feel like Cafe was one of those music videos that I thought of one of my friend's situation. And I'm like, okay, I have to really touch base on, on this topic. It's kind of taboo when it comes to like abuse and stuff like that and child abuse and specifically. Um, and I'm like, listen, in our community, no one speaks about this. No one really shows it. I feel like it should be an awareness for people to actually think about. It. And, and I shifted the whole thing. I'm like, let me. Well, it was like one of those hype for the youth and stuff like that. Cafe was more of the community to solve issues that we have. I feel, I feel like as an artist, that's my duty to point certain um, issues that happens in the community. Um, it's actually crazy. One of my favorite videos of all time. We shed a tear when I saw it. I actually shed a tear when I saw it. It's actually crazy. Yeah, because cause, listen, like a, a lot of people that I grew up with were victims of this. Yeah. Music is healing. Yeah. Like it's a tool of healing. Like yeah. Music got me through some difficult times throughout my life. And like, I feel like having a voice, and you said it perfectly, like you have duty to actually say something. You know, if it sit, doesn't sit well with you, then you write something about it, put it out there. And then you actually brought people together mm -hmm. and you gave them a voice. I feel like I was one of those people that I really wanted a voice from my community, from my city to speak about stuff that happens to us. I felt like that's kind of my duty now. I felt to actually heal other uh, kids, you know? Um, I feel like music got me through a lot of things, like you said, and um, I wanted to do it the same, but I, I, in my situation, I want to really have the right lingo for people to actually get it. Don't make me cry. It's <laughs> supposed to be a happy interview. I am going to cry and like, fix my makeup. What was the most surreal moment in your career? Like, no. One of my best, because I worked when I was 19, I worked in a ticket box office in F1. It's young, trying to find opportunity and stuff like that. Um, 10 years later, I performed on the same stage. That was like the 10 years, 2019. I'll never forget that day. I opened up for Future in the F1. I'm like, I was literally in the box office right there, you know? in my own city and it's different like when because i grew up there and i saw the people even the people on stage even the people in the crowd they're like that's i knew this guy like he was with us and da -da -da. it's different it hits different like a lot of people want to make it outside and be like i want to make it in the states it's different when you actually try to do something different in your city and you see the people that you grew up with it's, it tastes different you know and that's why i never thought of actually moving out and trying to pursue my career outside otherwise a lot of people told me it's probably easier to 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 make it as an artist outside. It's just different when you try to make it in your own city. 
it just hit different. Feels feels amazing. Feels fulfilling. Sensation. You said that you're high. You're hype and go to songs. Yeah. Always your songs. Yeah. So can you name three songs like your favorite top songs? My favorite top song is always Deuce. Gives me that energy. I'm hype. Second is Asanadi. Third is Well, I came, but definitely it's a statement. Um, I performed in London for the first time after um, that song got a lot of hype and stuff like that. So Well, I came is always going to be one of my favorite tracks. So is there any like inspirational quotes you live by or like a mantra? Yourself, don't be ashamed of where you come from or like your background. I feel like everyone has a beautiful story and people would actually really relate to you if you actually speak about what comes and what, where you grew up in, you know, and where you're from. Now for the most important question. The most important Da na na Can you, Mr. Free, mm-hmm. teach me how to rap your favorite verse? Yeah, of course. I am honored that you're teaching me. <laughs> okay, so let's do it. Let's do it. Yalla, dus, rawina, zain yalla. Zain yalla. Yeah, lefaymin isar. Lefaymin isar. Zain yalla. Zain yalla. Shoot Treya. Shoot Treya. Go and fill her. Go and fill her. خلنا نجيب العيد اليوم أنا والشلة. يا بين العيد اليوم أنا والشلة. Let's go, let's go. I love this. This is amazing. I love this. This is amazing. This is really amazing. Thank you so much for your time for making me emotional and thank you for making me almost cry. No, I love it. Love it. It's been an honor. Let's go. Mimi Nisa. Now it's time for the before inbounds. Now it's time for the hatch. So Okay. Okay. That's easy. And then Ah, okay. Yes, let's go. This is it. This is it. I'm I'm switching careers. So I'm a certified right now. Certified. Pleasure. Let's go. So, all right. Take care. I'll see you soon. Peace.